and welcome to the live stream. My name is Pamela Stewart. I'm the author of Young Adult Science Fiction and Fantasy. And today is Rogue Unicorn version of the live stream. So I want you all to buckle up, get your saddles out, because we're going to hit it and we're going to make our goals happen tonight. Hello, I see some people are already here. Hello, Shadowheart. Oh my goodness. And Chloe and Barb, everyone's here. I'm so excited. This is, I, I just love doing my afternoon sprints with y'all. It gets me so excited. Oh, and there's my little Cassie. The Pam fam is in the house, in the house, in the house. Everyone's here. How is everyone doing today? Please share in the comments. I would love to know what you're working on and, and how you're feeling tonight. I tell you what, these live streams get my blood pumping. I get so excited to know that I'm coming here to see you guys and to get the motivation. Like I sent energy out. I get energy back. Ooh, that was like 3D. Hello. <laughs> I changed the angle. Shadow Heart was here earlier this week when we did the early morning live stream, which was super fun. But I'm trying a new angle. I think it's kind of better because I you can see books instead of my hallway now. <laughs> but if I look at a weird angle, just forgive me because my screen's in a weird spot from here. I am ready to get stuff done. Actually, I found a productivity. Well, I, I think I mentioned this, but my... Getting things done time is in the morning, which is still flooring me. Uh, I always thought that I could not do anything in the morning, that I was brain dead. But I guess brain dead Pam is super creative. Who knew? So I actually got my a lot of my editing done this morning. So this afternoon, I'm going to be working on, um, I, I got a big launch coming in October. So I need to get some. Uh, my newsletter built, so I need to work on that. I need to get some ads running for that. And I need to build uh, some other like advertisements and different things. And I need to do the final edit to that. So I've already done my creative work this morning. So this afternoon, I'll be doing more administrative, but it's still fun. I actually really enjoy that as well. Uh, so I guess these live streams or these productivity sprints can be for more than just writing. You can do your editing. You can do your advertisements. If you need to do a query letter to send out to agents or if you. Uh, but during that 25 minutes that we're going to do, just make sure that's all you're working on and that you're not thinking about doing the dishes or your crazy cats, which we'll probably get to see my crazy cats. Hello, 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 everyone. <laughs> Thank you, yes. Hey, first draft of the second book two. Oh, you're already doing the polish. Good job. You're on fire, girl. I wish I could write fast like you. I am good in doing graph three. Oh, rock on with your bad self, Chloe. Look at you go. And then Shadow Heart, my friend, I'm guessing psychically, I think you're still working on your screenplay. Or could it be something else this day? The day? Welcome to anyone who's new to the live stream. I'm so happy to have you. Please like and subscribe if you like to do these productivity sprints with us. I try to keep it engaging and fun. The unicorn is, is off the hook today. So y'all are going to have to just join me in my craziness or move on to the next live stream. I didn't do it last week because they were, they were doing the worldwide biggest live stream ever. And I guess I was out of the loop and didn't know about it. I need to be on the loop more, but I did not hear about it. So until the last minute, so I didn't want to muck up anyone's game. So I'm back and I should be on my regular schedule. I'm looking forward to every Saturday and occasionally during the week, which I'll let you know about. I'm liking the Wednesday morning sprints, honestly, if anyone else likes to do early mornings. Oh, okay. Writing my way fantasy. Okay. All right. Way fantasy. Yes, I remember. It's a magical, wonderful world that we live in here. 
see. Everyone's here. All right. So if you didn't know what Carmodoro meant, I actually looked this up. It means tomato in in Italian. Uh, it's because the guy who came up with the idea actually was Italian and the timer that he used had a, it was in the shape of a tomato. So he just started calling them Pomodoros. Fun fact of the day. Yeah, set out on YouTube for a week. I tell you what, like social media can be, I mean, I don't, I guess I don't think of YouTube as social media because it's just a way I connect with people differently. Like social media, I feel is like distracting, whereas YouTube is connecting. <sighs> okay, you can't work on the screenplay because of your joint scenes. I see. Well, hello, Allie. Welcome back. It's so good to see you, my friend. Glad to have you. Yeah, social media is is kind of draining, especially right now. I don't want to talk about it. I actually had to close down some of my feeds for a while because it's just emotionally draining. And I want to be positive and I want to focus on what I can control, which is my productivity and getting words in and getting my my business running here by doing my ads for my books. So I who is ready? What you're working on, Ellie? Oh, I don't know if you shared. Oh, and by the way, the drink of day is wild berry tea. I'm doing good staying off the caffeine. I'm trying to bring it back down to a normal human level of caffeine. So this is Wildberry Zinger and it's by Celestial Seasonings. And I'm going to, it's pretty good. And I, of, I was surprised that of the different fruity teas that I like this probably the most. And then I like the apple ones a little bit, but not as much as I do like the berry. So fun fact, if you're, in, if you're a tea aficionado, share your drink of your poison of choice, your, your alcoholic beverage that you might need to get these sprints done or perhaps your caffeine. I have my study bunny ready to go. I already earned her a cabin. So now I'm trying to get her a fire for the fireplace, which is, it's a, it's a fun game. So, and it tracks my time. So that's good. That's, ooh. Supernatural. I'm going to tell you that I am a big fan of Supernatural, at least up until probably season seven or eight. I kind of like fell off the wagon. I'll probably go back and watch it one day. But uh, I don't have time. I don't have time right now to to binge watch, but I did spend way too much time binge watching Mr. Jensen Ackles. <gasps> we already have a special guest. I didn't know Petunia was going to make a special guest appearance. That's pretty fun. Hey, daddy girl. Oh. She wants to wear the unicorn horn. I think I'll let her. Okay, 25 on the clock. I want your word processors up. Your <laughs> Yeah, that's my baby. That's my baby. She's been super lovey today, like... Honestly, she's been like my right right hand kitty. Look, see there she is settling down right next to me. Keep me company, why right? I love her. Oh, I I share pictures of her on my Instagram. So if you're interested in following me on Instagram, the link is below. Um, but yeah, I share a lot of pictures of my beautiful kitties and what I'm doing. All right, I am. I am done chatting your ear off. I'm actually so excited to be back on my Saturday, normal Saturday. I mean, I think I'll just keep doing it unless there's something terrible happens in the world, which is saying something. I'm not going to say that. Okay, we're just going to step back. I'll just keep doing Saturdays as long as it, it makes sense, which will be every Saturday for the foreseeable future. All right. 25 on the clock. Let's get her up here. Let's, let's get this. Let's get this party started. Once again. 25. 
Pomodoro time. Think about the next scene you want to write. Edit. Get it in your head. For the next 25 minutes, all you're going to do is focus on the one task that you have assigned yourself, not 10 tasks. Now I click it out to look at anything else. Not even to go find it, follow me on Instagram unless you really want to. You can do that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, you must focus for the 25 minutes. And then when you're during break time, you can do whatever you want. If you don't have your drink, get it now because now is the time. All right, on your mark, get set, sprint.
Oh, my goodness. That, my friends, is time. How did you do? I forgot how complicated it was to set something up on Facebook. My brain's exploding. And then I'm trying to remember all the notes that I took. A, a, I took I'm took. i taking and have taken Mark Dawson's class. I haven't finished every module. He's um, a well-known indie writer who sells millions of books. And he um, puts out a class called Ads for Authors. And I bought... I got the class at the end of last year and I am slowly working through. It's like massive, massive. So I'm working through that. But anyways, that's what I'm working on. And I'm vaguely trying to remember how to actually set this up because I think the uh, interface has changed, but who gets the unicorn? Stand up people. <gasps> Woo! Shout out! She got it. She got into the groove, even though I had an unfortunate <laughs> knock off of the internet. Go, Barb! Go, Barb! Go, 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 Barb! Hey, you know what? You count what you can. I'm doing editing right now, and honestly, it took me a whole day to do one page, but I ended up deleting like 3,000 words. So that's more like I really work through around 10 pages. So give yourself kudos. Editing is hard. And you put your nose to the grindstone. But it's still there and it's still cute. Go Shadow. Go Shadow. It's your birthday. I love saying your name, by the way. Good job. Unicorn horn of success. Shall we officially do the banner? Let's do it. Screenshots. If you need this for later and I'm not around, you could do a screenshot of, of that for, for your own edification. You guys, good job. Hey, Quiet Adventurer. So good to have you. Ooh. I am so sorry that you are having to do that. But you know what? I bet you're getting work done. So Unicorn Horn of Success for you. I raise a glass. I raise a glass to you. Hopefully we are all ready and gonna get some caffeine. Oh, Chloe! Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Chloe. I didn't even see you put it down there. Oh my God, oh my God. The lights are going off in my head and the alarms are sounding. You are the edification of whatever is good in the world. You, my friend, are Fantastic. You did so good. 25 minutes and you hit your words and you got them out. That's 283 words you did not have when you started this print. Think about that. And although I struggled with my Facebook ads manager, which is giving me nothing but grief, I did find four good people to target. It's kind of hard because I write in a really sub sub genre of YA science fiction. So I'd say Brandon Sanderson, G. Kristoff is not even on there. Uh, Amy Kaufman's not on there, but Brandon Sanderson was. So I targeted him. I just happened to go for general YA writers. I might try Marie Lou. If you guys think of any good sci-fi writers that might be a, have have a good Facebook following, that I could potentially send a. Uh, and advertising to people who like those books, please share them in the comments. That'd be very helpful to me. <laughs> oh no. Well, I hope you can still come to some of the live streams even when school starts because it is such a process to have to go to school. I understand because my my job just sucks the life out of me. That's why I do I do 6 a.m. sprints sometimes. I don't know what time you leave. So once a week, I'm trying to do those. And I, I, they've been on Wednesday, which is working out pretty good for me because then I start out my day, per, you know, getting the words in or getting my, you know, cre creativity flowing. 
I love your, you know what? I love your picture. I actually want to be in the picture with you. Could I be on the other side and we can both be looking at the mountain together? Oh, I'd be like this. Mountain in the distance. Because <laughs> I love the mountains and I honestly haven't got enough mountains in my life. One of my goals in life, fun fact, I know you guys wanted to know this, but New Zealand is one of the places I've always wanted to go after watching Lord of the Rings and Xena Warrior Princess for years. I got obsessed with the landscape and it it, it is metal earth to me. Therefore, one of my bucket list things is like, like it's really, really high on the bucket list, honestly, is that I want to go to New Zealand and see the mountains and go to Hobbiton. I know that's nerdy. I'm so sorry you have to go. It's your last year. All right, congratulations. Oh my God, yes. New Zealand is it, man. So hopefully after all these restrictions are lifted and we can travel again, it is high on my list. In fact, I might just go even if I can't afford it just because who knows what the world will change into next. We really need to take every opportunity we can to live our lives. So I know I'm, wow, I did caffeine earlier, but I haven't had any caffeine. This is just me. This is me getting the energy from you and sending it back, hopefully. Hopefully you're energized and ready. Oh, you lived, oh my gosh, you lived in the mountains. That's that's so wonderful. I'm so happy for you. Where did you live? I mean, if you feel comfortable sharing that or, or send me a message uh, on Instagram if you don't feel comfortable sharing that, but I would love to know where you lived in, uh, do you recommend it? <laughs> I'm actually, I'm one of those people. I watch too much, too much YouTube. I, I see the people in the scamp trailers and I'm like, I could be a traveling writer. I can do live streams on the road. I can take my scamp and I can go from, you know, campground to campground and just follow the good ice weather. <sighs> That's, that's, you know, goes through my head. <gasps> Shadow heart, I knew that I loved you. But now I love you more. Ah, I feel that in my heart. I am so excited. That's, that's amazing that you got to go and you got to live there. I mean, you got to actually experience it on a daily basis. So I am jelly as I'll get out and I'm happy you got to experience that. You'll have to tell me some of your favorite spots. Send me a message so I'll know like where all like the non-touristy non-touristy spots are. Cause I am definitely going as soon as I, I can. Yeah, I know, Roy. And these are people after my own heart. Mountains in general sound wonderful, but the New Zealand mountains. And I have people who can attest to this. I have watched Lord of the Rings probably more than probably healthy for an adult person to have watched Lord of the Rings because it, it's my comfort food, especially when I'm sad or um, once or twice a year, probably, which is really lot. But is that? I just honestly my favorite movie of all time. Oh! I don't know your real name quite, adventurer, but you are also a woman after my own heart, an adventurer. One day, you know, Peter Jackson is pretty awesome. I mean, I didn't enjoy the Hobbit movies as much as I did Lord of the Rings, but Lord of the Rings, man, it, it was the best. And it still is to me. I, I haven't seen anything that compares to it in them besides Star Wars, okay, the Star Wars trilogy, but that's because I saw that when I was really young. I saw it when I was seven and it changed my life. Another story. <laughs> Uh, all right, so we're getting back to productivity. I promise they should, I mean, unless there's a lightning storm, which it doesn't look likely, there will be no more blackouts. The cats, I don't know if I can show you this from the, oh, you can't see both of them, but they're both on my bed next to me sleeping. So, <gasps> I 
I heard it was going to be an Amazon, but I know like because of all the, you know, pandemic stuff that everything got paused, but I, th- I think your things were starting to get back in motion. I know the Mandalorian on um, Disney plus is uh, coming out with a new season in October, which I'm actually, I like that series too. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite Star Wars uh, properties right now. So hopefully they'll be getting back to the Lord of the Rings, Amazon. Cause I would buy, I'm, I will sign up. I will sign up just to get that. Okay. Thank you for the inside Intel shadow. I appreciate that. I'm going to have to hit the, um, hit the beaches. I'll send a picture. If I'm ever on that beach, I will definitely Instagram the crap of it. I mean, it, it will be plastered with pictures. I did a cross country trip uh, with my older daughter a few years ago. And literally I have like, we just decided to drive across the U.S. I took two weeks off work and we went to California. And although we didn't stay very long anywhere, cause that's a long, that's a long trip. And I had to get back to work, but we drove through so much country and it was just so amazing to see the, the woods and the mountains and the rivers and just the diversity of the landscapes. It was such a good experience for a writer. In fact, when I got um, in California, we went to San Francisco and I drove across, you know, we drove across the Golden Gate Bridge. And I actually that features in my first series in the Ionia Chronicles in book three of the Ionia Ionia Chronicles. There is um, a scene based, well, it's 150 years in the future, but it's based on my trip across country. So hopefully I'll get a good story out of going to New Zealand too. Wellington. <gasps> yes, I've seen pictures of them. I actually just recently saw the pictures of them and they look amazing. I was looking up glowing something for my sci-fi story that I'm, you know, doing, filling in the blanks and doing the editing on and the Space Pirate Rising book. And I was looking for things that glowed or uh, the bio, bioluminescence and things like that. And those are very interesting. Ooh, I'll have to follow you because I am all about, you know, I'm to the age now where I can travel more and get out. So I have to follow you. Please, um, I'll, I'll, when I get off of here, I'll, I will follow you on YouTube and then hopefully you have some of your links there and I'll be all about that, man. Be all about that. Okay, I know I'm a chatty. I'm a chatty Kathy, and you guys came here for the for the words and the productivity, and we are doing that now. We are ready. I am prepared. Are you guys ready? Is anyone ready? Are you ready, peoples? Can we focus for 25 minutes and then we can get back to chatting about my favorite place on earth? That I've never been. The favorite place on earth that I've never been. It sounds sounds like a blog post. <laughs> I used to have a blog, but I did I couldn't keep up with it and everything else. But um I actually enjoyed sharing information inside of my head. Okay, we have already. We are ready. We are ready. Okay, we got 25 on the clock. Ready for number two? Number two, we're going to get it done. Get your projects up. Okay, now you got your warm-up out. You blew out the cobwebs. We've had the chat time. You got your caffeine. You've hit the bathroom. You've put your cats and puppies into locations where they cannot distract you. Significant others have been fed and are playing video games or are not around to pester you. Let's hope. We're going to take 25 minutes and completely focused on what is next. Your creativity and my making a Facebook ad. (laughs) I love it. It's great. It's going to help me in the future find more good readers, right? And I wish you all luck. Let's go in. On your mark. Get set. Sprint.
Wake up, people. That is time. That felt really long. How did y'all do? Share your numbers in the comments. Share your numbers in the comments. I really want to give out the unicorn of success. Beek. I do my own sound effects. Surprise, surprise. What? Chloe, rock star. Chloe is the rock star. Oh, Oliver is even excited about that number. Oh, yay. Rock on with your bad self. Rock on with your bad self. Rock on with your bad self. I know, I know, 25 minutes and she kicked booty. I picked enough, I finally got enough targets to, co to complete the ad. I just need to figure out a proper landing page. Boy, it's a complicated process, but I haven't done it in a while. It'll get easier as I do it over and over and I'm gonna need to set up, woo, shadow. Go shadow, go, go, go shadow, go, 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 go. Gonna do the robot for shadow. Because she is amazing. I don't know if this works on, it's like a laser pointer. I don't think that's gonna work, but imagine fireworks blasting off just because of your fantastic work. Share your numbers, share your numbers. I'm so happy to have you. Share your numbers. Tell me what you did. I'd like to know, what did you produce in 25 minutes? Wow me. Show me what I'm working with. <laughs> I feel like once I have the process down for the ads manager, it won't be so bad. But you feel like if you don't use it for a while, you totally forget all the... I wrote down notes as I was doing it. So I feel good. I actually got a lot. I feel like that was a good, good sprint for me because I hate doing it. So I would constantly like be clicking on other things to get myself distracted. So no, I love doing it because this is going to connect me with more readers. See, I have to think of the reason why I'm doing it. I'm connecting with more people who might like my books. Therefore, it's going to make the task easier. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Well, if you get down deep, you write the first couple of lines and you kind of know where you want to go. And for 25 minutes, you get that laser focus and then you get yourself out of it for a few minutes because your brain does need a break. You can only focus for so long. And then you get back into it. So look at there. Good job, good job, good job. Yeah, go Cassie, go Cassie, hang loose. And rock star, she's a rock star, she's a rock star. Oh God, please don't let me sing, that's probably terrible. You know, Facebook ads, I've had good, I've had good luck with them and I've had bad luck with them. <laughs> They can suck your money. So, I mean, it's good to take your time and learn and to be very cautious, but you have to try. If you're ever going to learn, you just have to do. But one time I thought I'd turn one off and it wasn't turned off. That was not a good day for Pam. Yeah, I agree, Cassandra. A hundred thousand percent. I think sprints are the reason I am being writing early doing multiple sprints a day, taking breaks. These are all keys to your productivity. You have to learn, there's a lock on everybody. And if you learn your own combination, like what works for me might not work for you. So you have to keep trying new things. And don't say that just doesn't work for me. Cause I honestly thought I could never get anything done in the morning. And now I might become this morning sprinter and that might change over time. But right now I know I'm the most, because I have to go to work and it sucks out my, my energy. So. Today was a free day, so I got to write in the morning and I get to do the fun social media slash Facebook ad stuff in the afternoon. 
Well, I'm happy, everyone. Yeah. Well, it's not too bad. I mean, I am getting there. But uh, targeting is a bear, like, especially when you're in a small genre. Like, if I were in something like mystery or thriller, I might have an easier time because there's lots of big uh, traditional authors who have big followings on Facebook. So then you find people who would like them. And then, you know, are people, you know, the same age group and the same demographic? It's inter it's interesting, honestly. But when you're in a small niche of people who like YA science fiction, people who like Ender's Game or people who like Aurora Rising, uh, it's much more niche and they don't really have easy targets. So it's like, all right, would Star Wars work? Would Star Trek work? Would, oh, maybe if I put in a character's name, Jean-Luc Picard, and that actually came up. I'm like, wow. But and then I'll have to see. Then I go back in. It, it takes constant monitoring because you're going to have to go back in and go, oh, did that work? Because if you don't, then Facebook will just take all your money. Hello and welcome to everyone who's joining. I appreciate you stopping in. We're doing at least one to two more sprints, so I hope you're ready. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like these kind of craziness. And I didn't officially give you the unicorn of success, guys. So let me... Let me brandish my horn. My horn can pierce the sky. This is for all your numbers. This is for all your work. Thank you for showing up. <laughs> You're making me look like a jerk. No, I like my unicorn horn. I'm sorry that I'm singing today a lot. I'm just in a good mood. I'm doing what I love with people I like. Cannot ask for more than that. All righty. I might have to run and get another drink because I am dry during this next sprint. But I will be immediately returning. Watch the cats for me. Don't let them ruin my computer. All right, y'all, this is number three. This is going to be your most productive one yet. I feel it because now we're in the groove. Got all of our chat now, or at least uh, you guys, you guys have. I never get done, obviously. And we're going to do Pomodoro Trace. And we are going to put the timer back up. Think about what you want to write. Write a sentence or two even, right now. Say, I want this scene to be about A character kissing B character, or in a uh, wooded glen, near a mountain, near the misty mountains. <laughs> or this one is gonna be, you know, riding a horse across the field to get the message out. There's gotta be a point to every scene, at least, in my opinion, okay, I always, I have to say, I, I always say things like they're rules, but they're not. But if there's a goal of every scene, it makes it easier on you. So the go, find your goal of the scene, gets a couple of ideas of how they're going to interact and what the conflict is, because to get to the goal, there has to be conflict. So think about what is going to keep them from that goal. And if you're editing, just look at, you know, getting rid of those weasel words and, uh, perhaps digging a little deeper into point of view, because that's always, or adding a few more descriptions, whatever your weakness is. Let's just focus on that one little thing while you're doing this round. Or any homework that you're doing, if you're working on math, just get that up and do the one problem that you're working on. All right, 25 is on the clock. Hopefully your mind is mentally ready to go. I have gone a long time ago crazy. All right, y'all, 25 on the clock. Feeling it. Feeling it. Mm, I think I might have to wear my uniform horn during this one. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. You guys feeling it? I'm feeling it. All right. Any mark? Get set. <gasps> Sprint. Ah!
Okay. I was it I was deep in the concentration. Ah! Wake up, kids, waking up. Ugh. I don't know any musicals that have unicorns, but I want to. How did you do? Share your numbers in. Oh, I am singing again, aren't I? No, you guys called me out. Now I have to be conscious of me singing all the time. My kind of crazy. Aw, you guys are sweet. I'm all like getting, um, trying to get my ads done on Facebook and literally I'm like, it gets, it, it's layered with complicatedness. And I'm like, well, if I do this, then I have to do that. And then that, I have to go there and do this. It was exciting and challenging. And I decided I'm going to go with a simpler, slightly, slightly simpler, probably way of doing it just so I don't overwhelm myself. So I'm going to go with the simplest solution, which is just to get people to my sign up page so they try my books. All right, let's see the numbers here. Oh my goodness, Chloe and Shadow are neck and neck. I love it. Look at you guys go, little twins. Rock on with your bad self. Chloe and Shadow. Chloe, Chloe and Shadow. Could Chloe and yeah, I'm singing again. Deal with it, people. <laughs> you guys hit it and then quit it. And I love you all. Oh, and then Barb, look at you. You did it. Eight pages, you know. Doing feedback is an amazingly hard job. And if you want to do it well, that means you get good feedback back as well. It takes effort and concentration. And for 25 minutes, you made it happen, girl. Good job. Good job. I'm proud of you. I'm lifting the glass of my sparkly black cherry ice. This is not the healthiest thing I can drink, but you know what? It is going to keep me pumped up for you. I am proud, proud, proud. Oh, I could do that. I didn't know I could do that. I'll rock on. I can, I can give comments underneath comments. <laughs> reference books okay that's good that's important and it takes focused effort good job tina you're a rock star i'm proud of you i have a lot of love for her reach. Yeah, I do too. Honestly, I I am I am not technically writing right now because I got my writing done early. Uh, so now I'm working on the other end. If you're going to be indie writer, you have to be willing to do the promotion because people that have no idea who you are, they don't have any idea about your books until you let them know. So I'm trying just to get the word out. So I need to stop making everything perfect. Okay, progress over perfection. I got the t-shirt. Actually, no. Progress over perfection. Let's make that a motto. Yay. Aw, that was sweet. Good job, twin. Aw, you guys are so cute. I am happy for everyone, and I hope that even our latecomers enjoyed the sprint. And we'll probably do one more before the night is done. And then I have to say farewell to the all. Uh, and I may or may not sing a song at the end. You never know. All right, if you need a drink, if you need a bathroom break, if you need to change tasks, now is the time to do it. Getting the research done for your book is important because whenever I'm writing, what I do is I put a little asterisk in the manuscript because if I go out to internet, forget about it because I will go down these rabbit holes. I find 
a fascinating detail about glowworms in New Zealand, which we talked about. But honestly, that did pull me down into a like a wormhole of distraction. So it's so easy to get pulled. I'm, and I'm like, make reference to glowing thing that's going to be intriguing. And then I did the research later. I'm like, what could be real, but also sci-fi. And I found some of these glowworms in New Zealand, which are like bioluminescent and they're kind of like really amazing. But now I'm going to like use a, maybe a sci-fi creature in that. <laughs> oh yeah. Do I need, I need to get the banner out officially for all of you guys this hard work. I am floored that you're still here and you're still kicking it. And yes, I, I'm listening to an 80s song in my head. <laughs> ice, ice, baby. Vanilla. All right. This is the last sprint. I want you all to make this a... If you thought that last sprint was good. And I want Shadow and Chloe to see if they can keep up with each other again. So keep it, keep going because you never know your, your writing twin might be ahead of you. So you might want to pour on the gas because this is it. These are your final, this is a final countdown. Yeah, that was so cool. We had an adventure girl that was doing her homework too here. And I appreciate everyone who's coming and everyone who's working on their projects. And I appreciate that my cats are still napping. I don't know what I did right today. I am just batting a thousand. I hope you are too. Okay. I think I'm caught off on the comments. Y'all ready for one more? Oh, it's on. All right, we have a competition. Writing twins. Let's let, let's see if you guys can keep 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 the pace together. I'm excited to watch this competition of friends now. <laughs> now they will be pitted against each other in the World Series of Writing. Who will win the writing sprint and the coveted horn of success? Tune in. All right, I, I am I am raring to do this. Now that I have decided to simplify my life and, and go with the simplest option, I'm going to breeze right through the rest of it. And if I need to do more later, if I want to make it more complex, I will do that later. Right now, we're just going to get the work done. Progress over perfection. Progress over perfection, folks. Get her done. Get her done. 25 minutes. That's all you're going to do is work with me. For 25 minutes and then you could be free to go have dinner or a snack or do more sprints let's do it okay so anyone who has having to leave early i will probably be doing another 6 a.m sprint on wednesday i hate when i say it out loud because it sounds so terrible but i probably will be if anyone's up so early 6 a.m and then next saturday 4 p.m i will be back on YouTube to motivate you. I can taste victory. And I will be staying around after this one to crown the unicorn winner of the sprint. This is Pomodoro 4. We're getting it's getting real, folks. This is it. This is the end. And I am ready. I hope you are too. 25 on the clock. We got our focus pants on, got our drinks hot, and our keyboards hot. On your mark, no excuses. Get set. Sprint! Mm -hmm.
Excuse me.
Oh, my God, how did the time go by so fast? Oh, my God. All right. I am I'm very intrigued to know what the status is of our last Pomodoro unicorn sprint. Share your numbers in the notes. Share your numbers below. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you know, if we're going for a 50 speed, I I don't know how to do up, but I should. I had I had a uh, 50s and 60s uh, honey radio in my my escort. <laughs> I didn't have um, FM radio because <laughs> it was so old. So I would listen to it whatever on AM, and it was all 50s music. So I know way too many. Well, thank you. Thank you, Barb. I appreciate that. Yeah, my Cassie mentioned that some of my videos are doing pretty good. Uh, okay. You know, it's those moments. It's the moments. It's not the movement. That's what Joss Whedon, I don't know if you know who he is, but he wrote Buffy and Firefly and a lot of my favorites, and he helped with Avengers. But uh, he said it's not the movement, it's the moment. So there you go. And I'm probably gonna mispronounce your name. But thank you and welcome, Squizzum. I love having you. I really hope I pronounced that right. Oh, snap. Dang, girl. I am floored. The unicorn has done it. The magic of the unicorn has motivated you. I'm so excited. I mean, I'm literally beside myself. I'm so excited. Good job. Oh, Shadow, you know what? Rock on with your bad self. 474 is amazing in 24 minutes. Yay! Both of y'all. Oh, I that is I would stand, but then you'll see my sweatpants.
and you don't want to see that. But you might want to see my shirt. I'm showing my school colors today. Ravenclaw! Oh my god! Let's see. We've got some read about... Yes, there you go. You got productive. You got it done. Way to go, Tina. Way to go. Way to go. I wasn't a cheerleader in high school, obviously, but I'm trying really hard. So these are spirit fingers. And then we're going to give you some jazz hands and a few more spirit fingers. Oh, my God, you guys. That's a, that's a whole heck of a lot of words. I I doff my my unicorn <laughs> to you. I feel like I'm off I'm off center. I guess that's sort of to match my personality, maybe. Oh, and I didn't mention I have like straight hair today. This will not remain. I'm normally a very curly girl. That's my natural hair, but I went to the stylist finally, and she weeded my hair. So I'm very I'm very sleek today. I am, but you know what? Shadow, you can come back next week and you can make it right. I, I have faith in you. I have confidence in your ability. And Chloe, you are the rock star of the day. I got to say, you have done an amazing job and you all have done amazing. Showing up, A, putting the time in for over two hours, you really got... An amazing amount done in a very short amount of time. Now, you could have just spent that time rolling over the internet and getting distracted by Netflix. But no, you actually did something that's going to produce either knowledge or more writing or faster writing in the future. So you've improved yourself, and I'm proud of you all. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Who doesn't love Avatar the Last Airbender? <laughs> Let me be your Iroh. Yes, you guys, you both did really, really well. Oh my God. I could do this all night, but my stomach is calling and the cats are quiet. So I'm going to go and make dinner. Hopefully y'all have a nice dinner. Think about um, maybe doing more sprints tonight. You never know. You're finding that these are productive for you. Please like and subscribe. Join me again next um, on Wednesday at 6 a.m. if you happen to be around or up. That won't be forever. Trust me on that, guys. But for now, we're going to do it. And um, Saturday at four. I love you all. Thank you all for coming. And I will, the unicorn will return. <laughs> the return of the unicorn soon. Thank you so much again. I hope you got a lot done. I hope you're happy with your progress. And I hope to see you soon. If you're watching this later, please add your comments below. I love to see your numbers. I will always check and give you a thumbs up if, if you leave a comment later too. So take care. I love you. I will see you soon. Y'all have a great weekend. Bye.